Am I mixing my mica in water? Absolutely. Stay tuned to see how it turns out. Hi Soapy friends, it's Steph from Micas and More. Here's my inspiration pick for my new fragrance oil, Bay Rum. Let's make soap. I'm using white satin mica and honey gold mica in a 2 to 1 ratio to make a color to look like sand. Adding white to your pure color is called a tint, which I learned from my friend Clyde Yoshida over at Vibrant Soap. I can honestly say I've learned a lot about color theory from his videos. I'll use aqua green mica for the water. I'm using cornflower mica for the sky. The other plan for this soap is to test three white colorants. This is white kaolin clay. It's dispersed in water. Next is water dispersible titanium dioxide. And finally, white satin mica, also dispersed in water. Yes, you can mix your micas in water. Oil works better, but you can try it out and see if it works for you. I add my lye water to the melted oils. The oils I use are lard, coconut, olive pomace, shea butter, and sweet almond oil. My lye water has sugar, sodium lactate, and tuss of silk already added. I'm using a 33% water amount and 6% super fat. I stick blend until it reaches a light trace. clean off the stick blender with my small spoonula. I use this for small batches and the smaller portions of soap. It's my favorite soapy tool. And now for the fragrance oil. Bay rum is clean and spicy with notes of bay leaves, orange peel, orange zest, and cedar wood. I'm using a half a teaspoon of white kaolin clay in a half a cup of soap. For the titanium dioxide, I'm using one sixth of a teaspoon in a half cup of soap. You can use more or less, it just depends on how you want it to look.
I'm using my usual rate of white satin mica, which is a half a teaspoon and a half a cup of soap. I add a half a cup of soap to the honey gold tint, and then I'll add in the white kaolin clay. Then I mix the aqua green in soap, and for that one I'll use the titanium dioxide. Finally, I'll mix up the corn flour, and I'll add the white satin mica to that. Let's get this soap in the mold. I'm using the Tall Skinny Mini Mold, which I think is perfect for a one pound of oils batch of soap. The technique I'm using is a modified one-pot wonder, with each color getting its own pour. I'll add the remaining white colored soap on top. Although it's going to get covered up, I have a plan. I use a toothpick to make a design on top. I decided that middle section needed a little bit more texture, but this time I actually did not overdo the swirl. I'm using this dry pump sprayer to make a design on top. I got it at a local craft store and I was considering carrying them, but the function of it just isn't up to what I really would like to have in my store, for products that is. It's not something that I found very easy to use, although I love the look. This is a technique that I saw from another soaper on Facebook and then I found that she made a video of that. So I'll add a link below for that so you can see where I got the idea, because I can't take credit for this. I think it's a really awesome look and the soaps that she makes with it are just stunning.
One last look before I put this one to bed. I'll put it in a box and under a blanket for about 24 hours. And here's the cut soap picks. If you'd like to get the colorants and the fragrance oil used here, you can order online anytime at micasandmore.com. And if you join my Facebook group, Steph's Micas and More, I'd love to see what you make with the products that you get. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.